Hey everybody, Christopher Odd here. Welcome back to The Witcher. So, uh, I just recorded an episode, 30 minutes in length, and realized that my, uh, mic volume was ridiculous to the point where it's clipping, and sometimes the program I used to record changes the mic volume, and I don't know, anyways. So, uh, here we are, we're back. I'm gonna take you guys through exactly what I just did, but actually it'll be kind of nice, because I'll be able to cover off a lot, uh, a lot of content in a very short period of time. So first thing we're doing is going to Alina's house, Good morning. where Alvin is. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? <laughs> Dandelion, I'm sure, described my profession realistically. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? So this is the girl that's marrying uh, Julian, the, uh, I want to say chief, the chief's son or something like that. You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful, big eyes. Mm-hmm. Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selina can be found anywhere. Your fiancé's spending time at the inn? We're not speaking, he's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. So, uh, the girl that she mentioned there, Selina, that's her sister that we hooked up with, uh, once we kind of came into this village. Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we going to kill monsters together? Oh, <laughs> fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Little Alvin, eh? So, a lot of things are driving us to, uh, speak to Julian. Yes? You should stop playing Kill the Elf. I really like that game. I always win. Well, almost. Alvin. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> yes? How did you get to Murky Waters? I was learning the Elder Language with Triss. There was a terrible storm. Then Triss told me to hide under the bed. Go on. I heard heavy footsteps on the stairs. Then Triss got angry at those men. Angrier than she was when I colored her dress with magic paint that is only seen <laughs> in the dark. I can imagine. I heard cries and people falling down the stairs, and I smelt burnt meat. Then more men came through the windows on ropes. They got Triss and beat her, I think. Oh, jeez. And a man in glasses asked her where I was. The professor. She said she teleported me to a friend in Kovir, where the air is clean and there are many things to do. What happened then? The one in glasses said something about playing with her, and Triss said you would find him and kill him. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then she kicked him between the legs and he started crying, and the others were afraid to get Straight close to crying. her because she started casting spells. Yeah, Triss is good at taking care of herself. Don't worry about her. Then someone ordered the room to be searched and they found me. I ran, and they chased me, and I was running so fast. But then I tripped, and they caught me. They put a sack on my head and led me somewhere. I was scared, more than in the outskirts. I shut my eyes and imagined I was far away from those people. Somewhere beautiful with the sun shining. And then Alina found me. I'm not lying. I believe you. I won't go back there. They'll hurt me. Trish should come here. It's all right. Let's see. I'll be good. I promise. Okay. Be good. I'll see you later. That's interesting because I didn't actually have that dialogue with him um, when I had just recorded this, so... 
that's cool. Now, everything's kind of leading towards Julian at the inn. Uh, talking to Julian, I believe, will also start to advance the whole Vojinoi and, uh... Oh, yeah, this guy. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly, he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. <laughs> Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. So, this guy's into Alina, the chick that's getting married. And, uh... <laughs> It's kind of funny what he says. You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. <laughs> That's awesome. And then he runs off and I can't even talk to him. Oh, I'll take these. So everything's leading towards the end, but I, what I was trying to say is that I don't really want to advance um, too much. I want to be able to explore a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of things um, out in the inn area. And out at Lakeside, we want to find the uh, the armor, the Raven armor, I believe. That's like probably my main priority um, because I think that it just sounds cool. I don't know if I can actually even wear it, but that's kind of my main focus right now is getting all these armor pieces. And I, I really, I think I just have to explore. I do need to find the notes of an elven minstrel and what remains of Raven's armor. I don't know, this elven minstrel could be that group of elves that we found earlier. I have to take uh, the bread back to them at some point, so... Anyways. The other thing I want to do is talk to the blacksmith's son about this sword that he has. A customer. So, if we check this out, I, had, I did have a question for you guys, okay? So, you see how you can buy these daggers and you can buy these axes that go into these things, right? How do they actually work? Like, do you actually ever get to use these things? I guess, like, you'd have to just select it, but then it's just doing random damage, like you can't actually use combos or something. So there's really no point in ever buying these and putting them in there, or even keeping things in there. You may as well just sell everything that you get that goes there. But anyways, there's this sword called the Gwalir. It does 50% more damage, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but this these percentages here are comparing it to our existing sword. So this would do 50% more damage. It would also increase disarm pain and precise hits by 40%, I think. I have the cash, so I'm going to buy it. And we're going to replace it and then sell this meteorite sword. So there we go. Now the other thing I could do is take some of the runes that I have. Uh, I have a bunch of them at the with the inn. So, I, or the, yeah, the, you have the earth rune and we have these uh, red meteorite pieces so I have a bunch of them with the innkeeper so once I get to him I will uh, I'll maybe grab those and come back here but anyways now we got the six sword as you can see looks real nice and now we're gonna head to the inn I need a rest. I'm actually really I think this chapter is going to be a ton of fun. I think this is going to be... I'm just like... I'm excited for it. I found that if I were to give my honest opinion so far... I actually... I enjoyed chapter one because it was more just like... You know, there's weird things happening and... There's like this... Thing that's haunting the town. That uh... That dog thing or whatever. I did like it, but it was just... Parts of it were really slow. Chapter 2 was okay. Chapter 3 was fun with kind of all the political stuff. And uh, I think this is going to be freaking great. So here we witness Julian and Alina's sister arguing. So let's go talk to her. Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Someone's jealous. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. <laughs> I love this. May I ask a question? Yes. I'd like to talk to you. <laughs> I'd like to talk to you. 
I'm in no mood. So I think you guys probably know this better than I do, but I think that happens because we kind of hooked up with her earlier. If I wouldn't have, then maybe I would have had the option to uh, to engage a little bit further there. We also have this healer side over here that we're gonna check out. There's someone familiar inside. Any guesses? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. Look who it is. Abigail's here. How cool Greetings is that? Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest <laughs> secret. Do it. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. Well, I mean, a little bit. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. So this is, uh, this is the witch that we saved in the, uh, in the first chapter. And when he says remember the cave because we hooked up in the cave, um, I think after we fought Salamandra. And then I had to, like, defend her honor in front of a bunch of people. And basically kind of um, rebel against, like, this that creepy priest dude and a couple of other guys, so. Anyways, she sells some things here. Uh, there's not really anything that... There's nothing I can really buy from her. We already have the books. Um, I'll keep the Fletter Fangs, but I'll, I'll sell her actually these wolf pelts just to get rid of them. I don't, I don't see holding on to them any value anymore. Uh, I will also, let's see, I've got Cadaverin, Cadaverin. So I'm actually gonna sell this batch here, just because we have so many, and I don't wanna run out of spaces for, um, for alchemy ingredients. So that's gonna be all that we have to talk about with her, I think. Yeah. Take care. So now I think we're pretty much ready to head into the inn. Oh, I should have sold the sword to the blacksmith kid. Oh, well. The dagger, I should say. Uh, we have to head into the inn, but before we do that... Uh... Trouble. What? Wandering rogue scared my cat away. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your face scared him away, but whatever. Uh, I have this notice board Shame. here. I don't have space to pick everything up. So, uh... What I'll do is I'll actually... I'll go inside first, clear some space, and then come out and grab everything. I think Dandelion approaches us right away once we get in here. Yeah. Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a Dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over. Okay, so he gives us a letter from Triss and this uh, Dimeridium amulet. And uh, her letter will explain what that is, so... Dearest Geralt, you managed to escape in time and you should not return to the city for a while, yet I hope we will not remain apart for long. Our problems, however, do not end there. Alvin used magic to disappear, but I was able to locate him and sent you there. Take care of him, please. I know you don't need convincing. You've come to like him as much as I have. The boy has been through a lot and his wild magical talents have awakened. When he was with me, he did not have patience enough to undergo basic magic training, claiming he would rather be an explorer of lost ruins, a discoverer of magical artifacts. I've enclosed a Dimeridium amulet that blocks magic. I hope Dandelion hasn't lost it. Please convince Al Alvin to wear the pendant. Uh, this is a weird typo here. A we wear the pendant it <laughs> at all times. Take care of him and think of me sometimes. I deeply hope all will be well with us. Our little affair can't possibly be more difficult than your mission, can it? Be careful and know that I wait your return, Triss. Aww. Triss. And then here's the Dimeridium amulet from her. So, uh, what do we want to do here first? Let's talk to the innkeeper 
and dump off some of our yes. stuff. Welcome to my inn, traveler. Greetings. If you're weary, rest. If you wish food or drink, call my daughter. I will. Make yourself at home. Thanks. May I help you? So there's uh, there's this girl and there's a guy, I believe probably her husband that runs the place. I talked to him last time, so let's see if hers is any different. I'll let you know. I have questions. Ask, traveler. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. Okay, so this is all separate then from what the guy was saying. So this will be new for me here. Tell me about Tobias. He lives in the village but prepares for a wedding. So likely has no time. I'll talk to him anyway. <laughs> if he's occupied, try speaking with his future son-in-law, Julian. Yeah. Thanks for the advice. May I help you? So Tobias is Alina's father then. I have questions. Ask, traveler. What's special about this settlement? Murky water. Yeah, yeah. The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Now the Vodianoi inhabit the city. Did I sense pride? We glory in our ancient heritage, just as we take pride in our prize-winning cow. As for our ancestors' bad habits, much has changed since then. Yeah, this cow thing I'm not understanding, so this is actually really good that she brought this up. Prize-winning cow. She's in the corral between the houses. Our pride and joy. She's made Murky Waters famous. Thanks for the story. May I help you? I don't get that, like, at all. I have questions. Ask. What's special? Murky. The under. Lake. Vodianoi? An ancient underwater race. We used to respect each other, but relations have worsened. Tell me about them. They appeared long ago, before the city was engulfed. They live in underwater palaces. They produce tools and baubles, including the famous Stones of Iz, supposedly magical. Their warriors, though fierce in battle, seldom attack on land. They chiefly drive away treasure hunters. An underwater race of rational beings. Interesting. Okay, cool. So we learned a lot from her that uh, we did not learn from the guy. So I'm going to go now talk to him. Greetings, sir. Spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. Huh. How can I help? Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time. But he lives in another large hut. So... I'll find it. <laughs> How can I help? I think the mayor is that Tobias guy. She says, like, he leads us or whatever. Maybe... I'm assuming that that would be the same person. Any interesting news? A wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here yeah. at my inn. There we go. One thing. Yes? Now, he's going to tell us this really interesting story that I don't quite understand, so I'm going to try to pay closer attention to it again, but if you guys know more about it, I would love to know. You so. must know some interesting stories. Sure. I'm an innkeeper. <clears throat> Long ago, in a valley far away lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt. You want <laughs> to hear the story or not? I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, witcher. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing, had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen, but fate had other plans. Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witcher. She gained a new family at Caer Moran, the hold of the witchers. She learned to fight, yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent, she was a source. The witchers feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, 
The lass disavowed magic and became a huntress, learning to love killing. Death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the witcher and the sorceress denied death's calling. Fate cast her to foreign shores, yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. When she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the witcher and sorceress, only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the witcher. The sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. What's that matter? So, I don't know who this Cyrilla is, and maybe I'm missing something, but I'm just not, like, understanding that story 100%. I can't recall a time where that's actually come up before, but maybe it's just, like, a random kind of thing. Like, I don't know. I have no clue. So maybe I missed something, but I hope not. If you guys could fill me in on that, I would love. I would really love that. One thing. Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna you just go through the other side of it. Through. Don't it? And she married a king, priest, mage, warrior, right? No thanks. How can I help? <laughs> just because you One know thing. blue text bothers yes? me. It just stands out. You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bone stole a case of best fire water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not funny. Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. Hmm. No matter. How can I help? Okay. One thing. Yes? So, I'm thinking in... Don't... I mean, if you can do it without spoiling it, that would be great. But this Cirilla, like, maybe, maybe we'll run into her, like, in the future or something. Like, maybe she's another part that we don't know yet. She's kind of like this mysterious thing that we're just hearing about. Because I don't think we've heard about her before. But it's bothering me that I've never heard about it. See, I don't have an, an entry for it or anything. So... Anyways, I'm intrigued, because that's a pretty cool story. So... Let's dump some of this stuff now. One. Yes? Okay, so I do have some runes here. I've got the Earth runes. That can be bound to the Silver Blades. Same with the Sun runes bound to the Silver Blades. And if you use, like, more than two or something, or two or more of one, then that, that you get bonuses. Something like that. Anyways, let's dump a bunch of stuff in here, so... I'm gonna leave all these rings. I'll drunk, dump this wine. Keep the bread. You can hold the books. I'm just dumping everything until I can find, uh... Uh, yeah. Until I can find out who's going to buy them, basically. And then the other thing I need to decide is, do I want to enchant this new uh, weapon? So, I could do that. I'm, I'll think about that for now, but so far I'm just dumping everything in here. I have to hold on to this sugar doll, apparently, somebody mentioned. Uh, so, I mean, I'll do it. Can I put it up there? No. Okay. So, we're done talking to this guy. Now, you hear the fighting. We're gonna go check How can that I out. Help? Two innkeepers? Mama and Papa own the inn. Mama won't let me speak to strangers. <laughs> Mama. As a waitress, you have to talk to strangers. Not true. Only regulars visit our inn. Got you there. I'm a stranger. 
You're Geralt of Rivia. <laughs> Master Dandelion okay. sang a ballad about you, so I know you. Got me there. How can I help? All right, she's smart. Will she buy anything from me? Oh, she'll buy my sugar dolls, but I don't want to sell. High quality potion base. 50 bucks each, though. Jesus. Let's buy some of these cheapo ones. The cheapest is 20, I guess. But I can make these into the uh, into the white gull, and those become better uh, better potions. So, okay, we're gonna do a fight here. This guy, the Rock. I heard you beat Butterbean and Fat Fred. And Gablada. I'm looking for a worthy opponent. Then welcome. They call me the Rock. Sounds ominous. Want to fight a real champion? You know What's it. The wager? 500 orins. I'm in. I wonder if the the fighting changes in uh, The Witcher 2 because it's fairly simple, I think. Throat punch. And just charging up your punches, like, works pretty much every time. And I know I could dodge, but, like, really, he's not even hurting me. I'm just so dominant. Congratulations, champ. Before you collect your reward, now another fight awaits. Who with? This intrigues Go me. Go to the swamp, where you'll meet the nameless one. Choose your reward. Okay, so I can take the meteorite steel. I'll take the best of all the runes, or take the coin. This is a tough decision. Um, the meteorite steel. I'll take the best of all runes, or take the coin. You know what? I was I took the coin last time, but I'm gonna actually take the best, take of, all the best of all runes. Why not? Yeah. Let's see what it is. And he tells about his teacher. Oh, and we get orange. Oh, no. What? That's weird. Oh, look at this. Opponent sensitivity to silver. Ooh. Okay. That's pretty cool. Because that just intensifies the whole overall effect of the blade, I guess. Okay, I dig that. I dig that a lot. And it said we got 500 orns, but I'm pretty sure that we did not. Anyways, the next thing we're gonna do, and this is the last thing I did in the at the uh, in the first version of the recording, and it'll be the last thing I do here, is a uh, little thing with Gerald Dandelion. What happened in Vizima after I disappeared? Who knows? I left soon after you, though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now don't get offended, but. Has killing people become a pleasure for you? Now, this is interesting as well because this is going to add an entry to our journal about under the kind of like uh, my identity section. And I picked salamanders and their kind deserve to die, and I do believe that. And I don't have a problem killing people if I think that they're bad people. Salamanders and their kind deserve to die. I won't judge you. I just hope you know what you're doing. I do. Gerald? How do you like the country? It's wonderful. Wine, women, song and dice through the night. Dice? I've played. Didn't think the game was popular in the provinces. People here go wild for it. It's incredible. I doubt I'll find anyone who's a challenge. Try me. Some say I'm as good at poker as I am at poetry. I'll believe it when I see it. When I'm done with you, you'll be looking for solace among the elves. One of them's not bad, actually. Okay, let's do this. So we already know about that elf, that other, um, sharper that we found, but, uh, yeah, see, here's the update. So we're gonna play against Dandelion. I'm going to... He kicked my ass for, like, five straight minutes last time. I'm hoping to just win a game here. So I'm gonna limp in. That worked out pretty decent with three twos. And, of course, I swear to God, he cheats. He's gonna have to do the same role as I am here. Oh, that's huge! Nice. Sixes. All right. Two pairs. 
Not bad. Oh shit. Oh god. Come on. Oh, come on. Wow. He didn't raise me? <laughs> I don't have a choice. This, is, this part, this is silly. Obviously he's not gonna roll. Jeez. Straight up five of a kind, Dandelion. One, two, three, four. Oh no. Alright, he rolled just as crappy of a roll, basically. Come on, this is for all the marbles. Okay. Two sixes, beats his ones. Oh! See this guy, he just like pulls these wins out of his ass somehow. Yeah. Look at that high here. Ooh! Okay, if he beats me here, something is seriously rigged. Nice, I'll take it. Okay, that's not great. Neither is that. I'm just gonna roll everything again, hope for the best here. Twos. Shit. Ah, dandy. See what I'm saying? Like this guy. I swear he cheats. Alright, here's my chance. I'm gonna freak him out. Three or five, three or five, three or five, or five. That'll do. Wow. You are shitting me. You're shitting me. Yep. <laughs> I just can't believe it. I just want to beat him. Like, that's all. I don't care about the money, but I'm losing so much money trying to beat him. It's just insane. Look at this, eh? Like, you can't tell me this isn't rigged. It must be something to do with my betting strategies, then, like... Because some people mention that there's ways to, to bet smarter against certain people, and... I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I, I even read about it a bit, and it's just... I don't know if it's just placebo. Like, look at this! Every time, and now I'm, like, running out of money. Yep. <laughs> he's, he's starting to... Daniel, he's starting to piss me off a little bit. Like, it's just relentless. I didn't recognize what that sound was. Haven't heard it for so long. Okay, this that's a good roll. Let's finish him off here. There we go. Finally. Dynaline is beat. Yeah.